We did it. We're here. We made it. Hi. Welcome. Actually, we didn't make it because it's not Tuesday. It's Thursday. Hi. Welcome, everyone, to Dolly Talk Tuesday, but it's really Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we had um, Halloween on Tuesday here in the United States, and so uh, per use, you know, I was out and about with my family. Um, having a great old time and I didn't even realize that last week I actually missed Dolly Talk Tuesday as well um, it's been crazy let me tell you I could sit here and tell you for the first like 30 minutes all my life but I uh, you can just catch up with me on Instagram and see uh, what happens so yeah you know that's what's going on hi Claire how's it going taco what's um what's up what's up um, do you normally do this every Tuesday Yes, normally it's every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, um, but I don't know. I've just been busy for the past two weeks. Um, I had, like I said, we had Halloween on Tuesday, so we were all trick-or-treating and having a great old time eating candy and, and doing all that jazz. So, But yeah, I, I really wanted to do a Dolly Talk Tuesday this week, even though, you know, Halloween's over. Uh, you know, we got Dia de los Muertos, you know, today going on. So maybe we're kind of fitting that theme. But um wanted to share with you some of the interesting, kind of unique, I don't want to call them all creepy because, you know, some people's interpretation of it being creepy versus, like, cool is different from person to person. But these are some of the interesting sculpts. Um, some of you all actually sent me some really cool ones that I've never seen before. Um, so I'm excited to share them with you today. And I actually have a full list of all the links of the different sites that I'll be visiting today in my description bar down below. So you're more than welcome to take a look at them. So that's what we got going on. Um, what's going on, Mimi kun Kahako, what's up? What's up, Coco? Stephanie, uh, hi, you were the first person who got me interested in BJD three years ago, and you just bought your first one. Congrats, Stephanie. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Web says, for my creepy is cool. For you, creepy is cool. Agreed, agreed. Ah, I'm going to try not to yawn as much. I'm just like, hmm. Ah, yeah. So, um, that is, uh, that is what is happening so yeah I'm so excited congrats to you Stephanie um, let's take a look without further ado at some of these really cool interesting BJD dolls um, before I start though if you have not checked out any of my social medias feel free to do so I do have a Facebook page which is this one right here I have an Instagram which is at Asenva my website which is bjdlife.com where you can find more information about bjds and read articles and informative cool stuff i have an etsy shop where you can get some cool bjd owner merch like shirts hats buttons stickers and more and then you can also check out my amazon page where i have suggestions for different supplies and cool things that i've purchased for bjds on amazon as well um, as well as all of this, I need to add another little hyperlink somewhere, little thingy mention. Um, my newsletter, I'm so sorry, I didn't even do a newsletter this past week. I, it, I've been off, let me tell you, it's just been, it's just been a week, been a, been a month or whatever, you know, you want to call it. Thanks, yes, we still in winter. Um, it's been a time, so yeah, I'm really sorry that I didn't even get a newsletter out either this past week, but the newsletter's been going strong. Um, and I will, I promise, try to put out the video for, um, I'm trying to run a contest, not a contest, but like a giveaway. So I need to talk about that too, eventually. So yeah, okay, anyway, enough of that infomercial stuff for you today. Let's jump into it. So our first one that I got is technically, I guess, Dolly Planet, but this is, I'm assuming, like the artist's Instagram page. And let me tell you, there is some interesting things here. Like I've seen some of their dolls before, but when you look at their Instagram, there is some really unique looking stuff. Let me tell you. Um, really quick, Stephanie asked, how do I sign up for the newsletter? Uh, you can actually go to my website to bjdlife.com or if you check out my um, Facebook page and I have a link there uh, that you can go to because it's like, I don't know what the hyperlink is off the top of my head, but it is there. So by show, please check out my site. It should be there. It's like, there's a newsletter and then you can like check that out there. Um, see -ish. Hi, Penny. Yes. Happy Halloween. Yes. Um, that is, 
what's my call it? These are just like really cool things though. Like I, I really enjoy looking at like artists and like what they do like on their Instagrams. Um, one of them that the original one that was shared to me was this one. And it was such an interesting one. Um, Bean actually, and there's Bean right there. Bean uh, was talking about this one here as well. And it's kind of cool looking. It looks like, you know, the little piece of the head is like being popped off and, um, you know, uh, being thrown like just like almost like ooze, which is kind of funny because it's kind of like what this one is looking like. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, you can't see the video. Cool. Isn't that neat? You know, you put some silly putty in there. <laughs> But then also, like, this part, this makes me sad, though, because I'm like, can you imagine, like, you did, like, a really cool face up, and then, and then you get, like, slime all over it? That would be, like, that would hurt me. But, like, the effect of showing somebody that would be so cool. But at the same time, I'm also like, wait a minute. I don't want to destroy my really cool face up, face up to show you my, like, my Play-Doh inside of you. <laughs> I don't know, but it looked cool though. I mean, it's a really cool effect to have them like that, but yeah, there's some really interesting ones. This one was another one that I saw, like, I guess back in the day or whatever, and it was cool looking. I guess, I don't know, this one looks like a slideshow, but I wanted to see the, this one. This is the one I want to look at, the one that has the little cyber boobs. Like, isn't that neat? Like, the whole little, like, face piece, like, comes off, the little boobs, like, open up, which is, like, really funny looking. Um, it's just so interesting like I it's funny because one of the other ones that I have on my list is um doll chateau and I feel like doll chateau used to be like the interesting like company of all the BJD companies out there like I thought they made like the really interesting stuff but then like you see like other um companies and, and artists like this and then you're like wow the creativity never stops it's really cool so yeah but it was ooey gooey cheese oh my gosh yeah that'd be really funny too it's like hey would you like some gouda to go with your food and then you just like whip out your doll and like you know serve them out of your doll oh my goodness so funny but yeah, I saw this one a while back and I thought this one was cool too because I liked how the little boobs open up. Like, I, I don't know, you know, it's really interesting to see because it's not, it's not anything of the norm, you know. So it's, it's just a really cool piece. And I guess it's just the torso. So I guess it's just like the top part and that's it. But I mean, what a cool looking thing. Like, it's just such a cool display piece, I guess. Like, it's really interesting to me. I wonder if these like wires like that they can bend like can you move the whole thing? I don't know. That's neat. It reminds me of that doll zone cyborg doll looking thing, which is actually on my list today too to look at. Um, but doll zone came out with like a mechanical kind of looking cyborg doll, and she's really really cool looking. And this kind of reminds me of that same vibe. If you've never seen it before. But yeah, there is some really, really cool stuff. Like, even this one looks really, like, the tongue and everything. It's so insane. And you just boop. Even with just the mouth open like that, just, like, it's so different. This one, too. I think this is the one that everyone was talking about, too, because, like, the... <laughs> I hope I don't get kicked off of freaking YouTube but the boobs have like plates on them so like the plates if it's if it's this one I'm thinking of I'm pretty sure it is that the plates can move because like this piece I think here has like a kind of like a cup if you imagine it like that like a cup and so like it moves I think it's this one you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure it was this one because I remember hearing about it like when they were making it and I was like laughing I was like what and somebody else had mentioned it too and they were like finally movable boobs like or something. <laughs> uh, Mimika says the artist cyber robot dolls inspired me to make an android girl OC nice Yoop says the only weird BJD thing I know of is the snake <laughs> is that weird though or is it amazing <laughs> to me it's amazing I love it so much oh, one day one day yeah, one day I'll have that. But isn't it cool? Just like, like I, I, the, the little pieces and everything that like come off and stuff is so neat. Like how creative is that? It's so cool. What the heck? 
Look, and there's like even like a little skeleton face inside once you peel that face plate off. It's so neat. Yeah, several <laughs> snakes. So many, so many snake bench. Yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, this is really cool. And you can actually, there's like a site that you can go to, like the dollyplanet.com. And um, some of them are there, I guess, for sale. I've never ordered from them before, so I can't tell you firsthand or anything like that. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Look at this little space chimpanzee, and it's like on a mountain of bananas. How funny. So yeah, here's a little like bust stand. It's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, there's like a bunch of different things here, like really interesting pieces that they have out here. You get a cool bass guitar, you know. Whoa, look at this one. Look at the face. It like peels off. Look, see, it like looks like a regular doll and then boom, the little face plate and the little boob plate comes off. Isn't that crazy? Whoa! Even like the little inside looks like little gears and stuff. It's neat. So anyway, yeah, that's Dolly Planet. Um, someone had suggested this one for me to check out, so I went ahead and I checked it out. And like I said, I've never ordered from them before, but this artist, um, this is the Instagram for the um, artist there for, I guess, these particular ones. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. I can't the PNP I guess so because most companies come with so many different additional ones and it's like I guess you know the artists are just like I gotta give the people what they want or something I mean I don't know anyway moving on um not so much creepy as it is interesting to me is Dalicioso's um one of the newer ones that they came out with which is Nina and it features like a telephone head like a phone head isn't that kind of cool like it's so unique the body is super duper cute by the way I love the heart knees and I love the the curve of like the legs and stuff super duper cute um and then yeah you get like a telephone head isn't that interesting so yeah right now she's doing um pre-orders all the way until November 14th uh, and you can get like little extras and stuff like that. You can pay for little extras there. And she offers layaway. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Layaway is offered as well. So yeah, there's some really, really cool um, looking stuff that she's got here. Um, but yeah, I follow, I follow a lot of these other artists and um, they're the same one that did this cute little mouse one too. Uh, but yeah, I thought this telephone one was really interesting. Someone else had um, suggested we highlight them today. But yeah, um, I definitely just really, really appreciate the body too. The body is just so cool. I really like the the shape. It's so curvy um, and really neat. And it looks like she's got high-heeled feet and like regular feet too. But what an interesting thing, right? It's really cool. I really like seeing um, different kinds of dolls especially when they have like different heads like that just is not like a typical head you know they have some that are like the pumpkin ones I've seen other ones we're gonna see another one today that's like just a regular body but then like it has like something different for the head which is interesting to look at so yeah the body is mad cute right oh beautiful mm -hmm. um an object head doll yeah 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 love them love them didn't someone make a doll with a giant eyeball for a head, too? Yeah, there's a lot of different um, artists out there that, that make, like, just, like, an object or something or make, like, just, like, a head that can be put onto bodies. And uh, I think it's a really cool, just, you know, it stands out in your collection, so it's an interesting thing. Anyway, so that is um, Dolly Cielso, and, again, you can check them out on Instagram, they do have a link tree as well, so feel free to uh, check them out. Next, speaking of a Cyclops, because I know you guys were talking about that, there's several different um, people that have come out with, like, Cyclops dolls. Um, this one was suggested to me um, as well. I had never heard of them before, uh, but it looks like the Cyclops that they offers, their name is Puddle. 
uh, which is this one here. Super duper cute looking um, and super sweet. I don't know, because like I said, I've never heard of this particular artist before, uh, but I don't know if they do like, because artist dolls are very different. Some artists will do like pre-order times and so you can like pre-order the doll and like have it. Some will only like make a certain amount in a batch and then sell those. Um, some will try to like drum up like an interest for it to see who would purchase it and then from there like kind of start pre-order sales and stuff. Um, and you know I've got of course some that will just like buy a batch and then like sell those or whatever but I'm not sure how this artist works or how they do it. Uh, but a very, very cute, sweet-looking um, little Cyclops girl if you were looking into stuff like that. So this is, like, her and her process, and it's really neat to see them, like, do their work. Uh, but it's such a cute, like, you know, it reminds me of uh, Futurama. She's got very cute, um, what was the girl character's name? Was it Leela? Layla? I can't remember. But, yeah super duper interesting and so this one is um a box opening so like this was her little box and stuff that she has the little doll in the rest of the body is super interesting i kind of want to see more of the body i probably have to look around for it or these are some more i guess um there's the little head but yeah look at the legs the legs are like super chunky which is really interesting to to see so i don't think any of those i think it's this one so yeah, look at the legs. Isn't that like, it's, it is very, um, this gives me more of like, I guess a mythological feel to it, uh, because I feel like they are, Leela, thank you. I think they really are, um, more, they have like more of a trunk to them whenever you see like Cyclops, you know, I guess mythology stuff or whatever. So I feel like it's it's got that very vibe to it with like the rest of her body um, and her head. So I I think it's cool. You know, it's definitely interesting um, to see these different dolls. So here's like another picture. You can see the little legs are definitely a little bit thicker, which is a very different, but really cool design. So there's some more, she has some heads there. And I guess this is a different one. So they have, Puddle, and I guess the other one is Rain, maybe? When we click into Rain, yeah, you can see, like, the little process of her creation for this one in particular. But it's it always amazes me, really, honestly. All of these artist dolls, like, I, it takes effort, it takes work, it takes your blood, sweat, and tears and everything um, to make these dolls come to life. So, you know, I have nothing but respect <laughs> for these people that create them because it's, you know, it's art, you know, they are definitely doing it. So anyway, that's Resin Breath um, or Marie. You can uh, look them up on Instagram. And again, like I said, I'm gonna have all of the different companies listed uh, in the description bar down below. So next is a familiar one to a lot of doll collectors which is bird cube um this is their instagram i tried clicking on that taobao link but it kind of like went off into like a weird taobao place and i was like mm, okay so, <laughs> i don't know i didn't go past that point but i know um bird cube i've seen some of their stuff in the past before uh and they make some really interesting things but one of the ones that was brought up to me that was like hey you should take a look at it um was this one here and it's interesting because the eyes are like, instead of um, horizontal, they're vertical, which, I mean, I've never, you know, seen a doll that has like two vertical eyes like that before. So I think it's definitely up there with like the unique dolls that not a lot of people um, see on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so yeah, shout out to uh, Natsuki for letting me take a look at this one because I've never seen this one before. Um, I would love to see, I guess, more pictures, like more people with it because I thought it would be a really interesting one to see like somebody do something with it. So like there's this image right here and it is just so different. Like you look at it and it is so different um, from other dolls because the eyes are, are placed that way. 
And it looks like they did, like, the face up. They did it like they would normally do the eyes, like, with the eyelashes off to the side there, which is really, really unique, you know? It's different. It is really different looking. But I would, I think I would like to see more people with it. So that's another, like, picture with it there. But it makes me wonder, you know, like, what, what other people have done um, with this particular sculpt that they have it or not. Um, and then, of course, there was this one, too. I'm not sure, like, what this is. If they're classifying it as a ghoul or, like, what? Like, what is it listed as? I'm not sure, but it's interesting also. Um, sounds like it's Phantom of the Opera. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I want to know, like, a product name. Like, I would love to know, like, the names behind them like and if they have like any that story or like interesting like facts or something about it I think would be uh really cool to see more of because I feel like this could be so many different things like it really could be something like as Halloween-y as like a zombie but it also could be something like real life for somebody you know because to me you know looking at it it kind of does look like somebody that is like a maybe like a burn survivor or something like that or a chemical burn survivor. So, I mean, there could be some, like, really deep storyline that could go into it as well. So, again, it's it plays into, like, different things, and I really think that's something that's really cool to see in the hobby because it could be turned into so many different things, and people can interpret it or use it in many different ways. Um, so that's why I was kind of like, you know, when I was doing today's stream, I was like, uh, it could be creepy, interesting, or unique, you know, whatever you want to classify it as, because it may be interpreted to other people as different things, so. Um, uh, Coco says, are they the ones with the moon head? I'm not sure, somebody else talked about a moon head, too. Um, Claire said, isn't Tao Bao been flagged as a recast? Well, okay, so it's really hard whenever you look at things like on... Yeah, definitely AliExpress is, is an interesting one. But Taobao, there are some, I can't think of what they're called, not vendors, they're called proxies that you can go through that, like, still, they can do, like, a legitimate way to get dolls. Um, but you definitely really have to um, do your homework on Taobao before you jump into it uh, because it is a different process of ordering um, Ghosty says, I saw someone customize the vertical eye sculpt in a cool way recently. What? I want to see it. Knight says, it'd be cool and spooky to dress the doll cute and have a wig cover its eyes so a friend or stranger can add a meat, can move its bangs and scream. <laughs> yeah, it'd be definitely an interesting thing. So, yeah. Um, Penny says, a burn survivor with a cleft. Palette. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different things. Um, I think that some of these different sculpts could be for different people. Um, Knight says, I think I would do it and get the sideways eyes. I wish I broke. Uh, Batman character, really ghostly. You, yo, yup, says all the Chinese legit stores are on Taobao, so you just gotta research. Yeah, so you just gotta research it and do your homework for Taobao. Taobao is still kind of like, mm, you know, as long as you look up your stuff, you should be okay, but. Yeah, you have to do, like, your research for it for sure. So, anyway, that is Bird Cube. I'm not sure. I feel like there's somebody else that probably sells Bird Cube stuff, but I'm not 100% sure or looking at it right now. But um, that is one of the ones that I wanted to kind of showcase with you. So, this what it is. Um, next, I have this one from Legend Doll. And it's, and I'm probably going to mess it up. Because it looks like it's supposed to be like Abyss, but it's a Bessie, maybe? A Bessie planet? I don't know. It's an SD size, but it's a 50 centimeter doll. And so at first glance, when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's an interesting thing. It looks very cartoonish to me. And my brain just like really just saw this part, like saw the front of the face and like the little horn or whatever. And then the little jointed hands. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to click into it and, and look more at it. And when I clicked into it, it just continued. Like, it continued. So it not only has, like, little skinny arms, but, like, jointed hands and this, like, really interesting just, like, an eye 
almost very much like all the other Cyclops things. But there's also an additional eye in the center of the body. So I'm not even gonna get it. It gets it gets it keeps going. Hold on, it's the gift that keeps on giving. So it has like this eye that has like this sculpting that looks like dragon scales around it. And um, again, if you notice, I think it only has four because I only count one, two, three, four. I think it only has four fingers. Like I don't know. I'd have to look at it again some more here in just a second, but. This was really interesting to me. This was interesting to me. This was interesting to me. And here we go. When I scrolled down, like, nobody was here to, like, look at it with me. And it was just me. And I was like, there's tentacles. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, look at this. And they move. Like, that's a joint right there. Like, these are definitely all joints. This is all strung. Like, how the heck is this strung? And look at it. The shoulders are, like, pointed. There's even scale marks on, like, the little leggy things. I think it is one, two, three, four, right? One, two. I, I'm only counting four. Four fingers, I think. One, two, three, four. I think it is just four like scaling on the shoulders isn't that that's unique like so unique to me i don't know if this piece is like you have to paint it maybe yeah you do look it comes like that it comes blank that's what it is i didn't even get to look further i just was like oh, i'm gonna show this and i'm gonna look at it whenever we get there but yeah look it's kind of like deep in the center here so yeah, it's all jointed. Yeah, octopus. Yeah, you guys weren't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that when I was looking at it. I was like, what? What are you? It's so cool. Like, is it an alien? I'm assuming it's an alien because it's like planets and maybe their whole thing is like aliens. And this is an alien, I guess. But it's so freaking cool. Look how big it is with this person next to them. It said 50 centimeters, though. But this looks big. Like, really big. But maybe it's, like, 50 centimeters at, like, a certain point. And when it stands up, it's bigger. But do you see these? Like, are these, like, supposed to be constellations on the legs? Like, I don't know. There's just so much stuff. Like, I didn't even expect it. I was just like, what? Like, this is so cool and different. So, yeah, this one is on um, Legend Doll. And, like I said, it's 50 centimeters. And it's, like, 488. You can get 5% off. Like, I... I've never even heard, never even heard of them. And there's like another one too, but I didn't like put it on my list, but I'll just show it to you guys really quick. Um, there's another one here too, which is this one, but I didn't look into it. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. This is my first time looking at it with you. Whoa, look at the hands. What is this? It doesn't say. So, I don't know if there's like another, like if their thing is like alien, I guess maybe. But look at the hands. Where's the body? The little horns are so cute though, but what? Look at her. Oh my gosh. But I wanna see the body. What does the rest of the body look like? I need to know. It's showing us this crown and I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's just the head. Oh, it's got little hooves and a little tail. What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is, guys. I really don't know what I'm looking at, but this is just, like, different, you know? I don't know. But this is another one. This is the other one that they have. So, again, it's, like, I thought it was, like, a abyss, but it looks like abyssy or abyssy. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but, yeah. Pretty cool, I think, you know? Really interesting. Looks like an octopus alien. I like a doll with... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Thank you. Thank you for that comment. I am now revitalized to do the rest of the stream. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Amen. Me too. <laughs> um, 
Moving on, I had to bring in Doll Chateau, right? Everyone has to know about Doll Chateau. But this one is no longer being sold. It's sold out now, I guess. I guess it's discontinued. I don't know what it is. Doll Chateau has like a whole bunch of random stuff. But this one was um, Irma or whatever. And I thought it was an interesting face. Like, look at this face. And honestly, if you want to really talk about it, like back in the day, like Doll Chateau was the one. Doll Chateau and Doll's Own were the ones that were like, the weird step siblings that no one talked about in the PJD hobby because some of their dolls were just like out there. And you know, it's still nice to see that Doll Chateau still makes some really interesting looking dolls. Um, and you know, they're really, they're really obsessed with making like centaur type things, centaur type creatures. They always have like these legs, like a lot of things have legs. Like this one, this one's interesting too. Um, but I think these are like limited edition ones and s I think this one is still being sold but this one is not being sold anymore. But yeah, this one was an interesting one because it just looked like it was a spine on the doll. So it was just sh really just straightforward. So yeah, a very interesting looking one if you've never seen them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great miss, but it was pretty funny. I also like a doll with <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, another one that they had, this one also is also sold out, but I just wanted to kind of show it. Um, BJ Divas, BJ Divas has this one um, just so you can kind of take a look at it. But again, it was like a spine. It was like something, it almost seemed like it was rotting or something, and it was an interesting uh, looking doll, and it's just the little, like, little spine and like a bust it's more like a bust i guess to me but it was cool you know and it fit the little eeriness of what we were talking about today like it has like a little hollow um socket for the eye and stuff and i think something like this would be so fun to paint you know like as a person that does like face-up artistry stuff or whatever you know if you like doing things like that i guarantee you this one's gonna be a really fun one to paint like it's so cool. Like, there's so many little pieces and stuff like that that you can really accent and make different. Um, so, yeah, it would be really cool to see more. Yeah, it does look like a little mermaid, the little tail. Mm -hmm. There's the tail. So, yeah, maybe like a decaying siren or something. I'm not sure where it was going with this one. But, yeah, you can always count, you can always count on Doll Chateau to have some really interesting designs so yeah it's a it's a very interesting one so going along with this I feel like that a lot of companies are starting to make a lot of busts and so um I thought I would highlight this one which is miracle miracle dolls special doll it's a specter head and bust stand so it's the head and the bust so really like I feel like these are more like honestly just display like you get these and like you can literally just that's what they do they just sit on display because there's nothing really else for them to do other than just be there so I think it's a really kind of cool thing for you know collectors to have because it's just something that you can just do the face up on or whatever and then like boop just put it up um, I know I've seen like a lot of companies just sell the busts also like it's like a head or like a like a, a head on like a torso and like you know you can buy the torso and I think that's really cool too because you know there's a lot of collectors out there that buy a lot of BJD heads but then they're like what do I do with all these heads you know or maybe you haven't like purchased a body for all the heads yet or maybe like you just liked this head you know but you didn't you know go as far as building the rest of it you know it's a great way to display those additional pieces that you have uh without having to like you know go out and buy like the whole doll and like you know have to put that doll somewhere you know you could just buy the bust or several busts and display like the cool heads that you have so i think it's it's interesting you know um stephanie says i don't know if i would ever own things like this but i do admire the artistry yep yep yep, yep. Um, oh my gosh, I hope I don't say your name wrong. Han, Han, Han Jesse? Han Jesse? Uh, I've been seeing that. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. 
Like if you get a really cute head and paint it and want to show it off without keeping it hidden away all the time. Mm-hmm. 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 I agree with you. Yeah. So here it is in all this glory. And yeah, it's just this. It's, it's just a bust. It's really what it is. Like, I don't know how it's strung, though. That's what I would want to know. Because usually, like, it goes down to the feet. So I'm wondering if there's, like, a hook or something down here or how it does that. But I do like, I do appreciate the goblin peen that's just here. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's just... <laughs> oh, please. Please. Can you imagine that? Like, if you had a bust and then you could put all your different... Because, you know, some of the other... Your other dolls, when you order them, they come with all those optional parts. And you're like, what am I going to do with five peens? Like, well, now you have busts. And, like, they should just make it magnetic in that area. So you could just put on your different extra parts. <laughs> I know it's I'm sorry. It's because I don't have any. Okay? I don't have any dolls. I don't have any extra parts. I'm very sour about that. That I did not... I, I was not... The dolls, when I ordered them, were not in the era of, like, you get extra parts. You only got one, and that was it. So, I'm very sad about it. But look how they painted this. This is so cool. This looks like Edward scissor hands or something with the wig and everything. But it's so neat. Like, this is a cool, cool piece to have, I think. I like how they, like, go as far as trying to cover up the butt, even though... There's that big thing in the front. But they're like, no, not the booty. <laughs> Nothing but the booty and the nips. Don't show those. <laughs> it's like, what? I guess. But yeah, he's cool looking, you know? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. So yeah. <laughs> Coco, you'll send me the extra. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start. <laughs> start a like you could send me send it to me in the mail oh my husband would be like what is wrong with you who are you all right um next I had to show you guys this one I think we did show it off like the last stream or whatever we had I forget who it was but somebody in stream was telling me how they were super excited because they ordered a jing a jing for miracle doll and that their doll was coming in and I had to you know I had to bring it up today again so if you hadn't seen this doll so cool um it's Jing 5i and it's because it literally has five eyes but it's beautiful like this is definitely something out of like I don't know like biblical terms or something it's like one of those things like you read when they talk about like the seraphim and they have like they're supposed to have like 20 eyes or something and like six wings and they're floating with whatever like this kind of doll reminds me of that kind of lore or whatever because it literally has the five slots here but the way that they're made it just looks so like different and when you look at it like here in the light how you can kind of see the eye you can see it like in certain um like ways like see here how you can really see it here you can really see the eye kind of coming through there in other shots it's very hard to see here you can see like the roundness of it being placed there which is cool but it's such a unique like a unique looking thing like I would love to see one IRL like just to see it it's so cool looking like I want to know also like if there's different sizes for the eyes like you know but how cool is that you get to put five eyeballs in there it's like really neat like super duper cool the problem with extra parts like that is you don't know random people will be Disproportionate. Oh no. Hey, we don't judge ghosty. <laughs> yeah, isn't this gorgeous? It's just it's just something out of like a fairy tale. Like Guillermo del Toro. Like it reminds me of that. Like I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Guillermo del Toro like films. Like Pan's Labyrinth or like um the new like uh he did like a Pinocchio that was really beautiful too. Like it's just it's so neat. Like, I like this. Even the eye shape of the actual, like, the two eyes that are here, like, are really different. They're very triangular and, like, very skinny. So, 
I appreciate a very interesting looking, like a goddess. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very cool looking. So I had to keep this one up here today. So anyway, you can, again, all my links are going to be in my description bar below. If you need to take a look at these closer for yourself, or maybe you're like, mm, I kind of want to buy one. Then you can take a look at it there. Next, doll leaves made an actual puppet. You know, somebody had to do it. Somebody had to make a puppet. And doll leaves was like, I got you, boo. And so they made one. Um, yeah, so it has like the little interesting little puppet mouth piece here. Uh, and it it moves. So there, there's the mouth right there. And uh, I think it only goes to that, though. I wonder if it just only goes like beep, 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 just to that. It only opens like a little bit, I guess. Unless this is a magnet piece that pops. No, it can't be. This has to be the teeth that open up when it's closed. Oh, here we go. This is better. Yeah, so look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. But is it like a magnet? How does the mouth open and close? Does it say? It doesn't say. I just want to know. Like, is it a magnet? Like, how does it open and close? That's what we need to know. This is what we all need to know, right? This is all the things that we need. So, yeah. Oh, Stephanie, you bought it from um, Doll Leaves? Doll Leaves is great. I have a Doll Leaves. They're beautiful. Great. I'm so happy for you. They're awesome. And super affordable. I love them. So, yeah. Well, now you can take a look at this cool puppet one. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, Yoop says, this reminds me of Ring Doll's human-sized puppet that they made for a BJD con in China. Oh yeah, I saw that. It was dope. It was like, was it a con? Or was it like a pop-up store that was somewhere there? Cause like, I remember seeing the pictures for that too and I thought that that was really, really cool. It was humongous. Like they made, or maybe, yeah, you said human size. Yeah, it was big. They made a huge one and it was on display and I was like, dang, why don't I live over there? I wanna look at it. Like it's so cool looking. Yeah, and they had, like, all their other dolls on display in, like, these glass cases, and it was just beautiful. But, yeah, that huge one that sat on display was amazing. I'm like, what do they do with that? Like, do they just have it in the office? Like, where does it hang out? Like, you know? Like, is it just there? Like, I don't know. But, yeah, it was beautiful. I'll have to pull up the images later on if I have time. So, yeah. But, yeah, you know, puppet dolls, it's a thing, so... Going back to objects' heads, we have this one from Jane's Doll Land, which is a Bing Bing doll, uh, and it's a teapot head, and it's just the head, and it looks like it's fitted one sixth, one fourth, so you can buy it in a one fourth size or one sixth size, and how unique and how cute! It's a little teapot with little with little eyelashes, so you have to paint the little eyelashes on try to zoom in here for you so you paint the little eyelashes and everything else this would be another really fun one to paint I would love to paint this like this would be so nice you you can whip out those metallics and stuff and it would look boss like super cool and this is what it looks like on like a doll they even did such a good job on this one here the colors and here it is, like, they show you it on the body. So I guess this one is the one-sixth, and this is probably, like, the one-fourth, and these are, like, different bodies. I feel like this one looks the best. I don't know what body this one is, but this one, I like this one, and I like this one. These two, I think, are really cute. Even this one's kind of cute, actually. I like one, two, and six. Those are my favorite ones. So, yeah. I wonder if the spout open is open. I don't know. It would be cute though. But I really, you know, it's all my like, own oh, unique short and stout. <laughs> I'm a little cheap hurt. Short and stout. So there's a little head. Even just the head by itself is really cute. I would put this somewhere. Like the little head, the little teapot head. They're cute. I don't know. They don't show you. 
we need to know is the head, the little spout open. We can't tell. There's no way to tell. Why didn't they show us? That's stuff we need to know. It doesn't say. But eight three bucks, you know? What is it made out of? It doesn't say. Resin. Hmm. It is cute, though. Like, it's super cute. So, Jane's Doll Land, they sell a whole bunch of different um, dolls and stuff. They're a dealer, uh, and you can get some really cool stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'd be tempted to put in flowers or something to make steam or smoke. Right? Can you imagine that? Like, putting wiring in there to make it look, and then, like, attach, like, stuff to make, like, the smoke come out of it. That'd be so cute. It'd be really, really cute. But yeah, I, I even just like the head by itself, honestly. It's super cute. Moving on. So we had to visit this friend again. Uh, this is the one that I said from the beginning of the videos that it reminded me of because they had like a little cyborg one, Dollzone does. Um, but such a freaking cool looking doll. When this one first came out, I was like losing my mind. I was like, do I need this doll? Like the shoes is what killed me. Where are the shoes? There, there. look at that. Mm. The shoes. Oh, to this day, to this day, those are some nice looking shoes. Like, it's like a foot. It's like a sculpted foot on there. But that's beautiful. Flipping beautiful. I can, I just, I just want to look at the feet all day. Like, it's great. Like, they're beautiful. But the rest of the doll is really cool, like, equally as well. And they have, like, the little weapon and everything. Um, it was a 52 centimeter doll. And you could get it, like, there was many different things, like, you could get with this doll. Like, it came in a whole bunch of different forms. Um, but just the little head cover and everything was really cool. The weapon it came with was really cool. But, yeah, these are, like, the different, do you see this? How there's so much crap here? Like, you, you really had to, like, cafeteria style, like, what you wanted. Human Zero is on my wish list. Yeah, 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 I love her. Yeah, so, so cool. Yeah, it came out in 2020. Like, it still amazes me to this day. I'm like, what the heck? This is so cool. Oh, so much time. Yeah. So, yeah, these were just all the extra pieces and things like that. You really had to, like, pick out what you what it is that you, that you wanted because there was so much stuff, so... Yeah, if you've never seen this doll before, definitely worth a look. It's amazing. I don't even... I guess, yeah, you still can buy it, it looks like. Mm. So the official female, male body, cardiac female, male, something, something other. Skin, and then that's it, I guess. Or whatever. But yeah, so cool. This is one of my favorite ones that Dollzone came out with. I thought it was cool. The shoes are amazing. Yeah. Vanity. Hey, boo. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is amazing to me. I love it. 10 out of 10. And without further ado. Oh, yeah, there it is. Without further ado, I had to show you this, friend. Everyone was like, the crazy rabbit from Miracle Doll. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. This is up there. Again, Miracle Doll just being Miracle Doll and making it. This is no longer in sale anymore, but it was a very interesting doll. <laughs> None to say the least that people, you know, talked about when it came out. And I forget, I guess it's not this one. God, I hope it's not this one because I'm not ready to look at it. But I really, I'm sorry to bring us back to peens again, but like this one had one in it. I was not ready to look at it when I was looking at it one time. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's a thing there. Yep. It's a thing. So I don't, I'm not even sure what I want to do. <laughs> it's like, no, it scares me. I hate this one. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, school, school madness is real, Fanatier, for reals. Oh, my God. You're like, this thing used to freak me out when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, this one is something different. Like, people, yeah, people don't understand, like, how, how, 
how our feelings are with this one. It was something different. Yeah. But again, you know, it's different. Some, some people might really like this, and this might be their thing, you know. That's <sighs> what it is. Um, some honorable mentions that I would like to honorable mention that people brought up, which was um, funny that they brought up. Was it? Yes. I have to bring it up again. Honorable mention was this one, the pregnant doll. <laughs> some people were like, she creeps me out. I'm like, oh, but I love seeing her every now and then. It's just funny. So if you guys didn't know, they actually did make a pregnant PJT at one point in Angel of Dreams life. And this is her pregnant. Nobody looks like this in nine months. Heck no. And nobody's like happy like this after just giving birth, which by the way, is all natural. She gives it through the back like all women do. Like, it's like, no, we don't. What? Are you doing? what? Yeah, it's like the little baby hiding inside of here. It's like, why couldn't you do it like Midge and just make a resin compartment that pops on and pops off? Like, no, we just needed to be different and make a little back insert for, um, for this doll. But yeah, people, uh, people were not down with the eerie smile. They were, they were not and they were not down with the uh, with the baby either, which is also a very tiny baby, <laughs> a very very tiny baby. And she's like, "Thank God it's out of my back." <laughs> That's the feeling we're getting here. But uh, <laughs> it's like the baby right up. Yeah, you know. It's, uh, it's more like second trimester. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a different, it's a different time, guys. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. But, uh, this one was mentioned, and I, I just, you know, honorable mention. I thought I would honorable mention it for you guys here today, because, you know, we didn't talk about it, but we, we will talk, you know, we, we've now talked about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, these are all, like, all of them are just, I think they're so cool. I think they, you know, different people like different things. So that's why, you know, I really can't honestly just say that they're creepy or, you know. Oh, God, that is so out of focus. Hello? Hello? It is one. Oh, my gosh. Camera. Re realign. Oh man, it's like I'm looking at you guys and it's like, I don't have my glasses on. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, there we go. Yay! Okay, it's focused. Now you can really see my ugly face in, in HD. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, hope you, I hope you guys um, really enjoyed these wonderful fantastic sculpts that I've shown you today because it, it is a journey going through some of these because it is just, you know, there, there. It's like a 90s webcam. It really is. Yeah, my, my webcam has a mind of its own. Let me let me just tell you that right now. Um, before I end today's stream, um, let me just tell you a little bit about some updates that are going on. Uh, again, I am going to try my best to get the newsletter out. I can't believe I freaking forgot about the newsletter last weekend, but it has been a week. Fantier, shout out to my fellow teacher friend. It has been just teaching time, let me tell you. I don't know why we decided to do this, but we literally did, um, we had Halloween at school, and then the next day we did a field trip. It was a trip. <laughs> I will just leave it like that. But uh, I am going to try to, like I said, do the newsletter for this week. That is one of my to-do lists. Um, I am also working super duper hard on um, DollCon Dallas stuff because yay, we did it. We made our ticket minimum or whatever we needed um, for tickets. So by the way, I think November 5th or something like that is like the last day to get like one of our lowest prices for tickets. They will not be selling tickets at the door. Um, so you kind of have to buy your tickets now. So if you're still thinking about it, or maybe you're going to wait for a tax refund to come around, 
don't forget about us. Um, the convention is in February. It's really, really fun. Two days of BJD goodness, and you get to hang out with cool people and have an awesome time. So we are super duper excited for DollCon Dallas. Um, so yeah, I'm working on stuff for that. So that's why I've been like, uh, uh. Um, but also because of school too, and also because my husband broke his foot. So it's been an adventure, but... <laughs> Uh, other things I'm trying to, I need to, I, I can't believe like I put it in my news and I was like, guys, it's going to be on YouTube, like October 24th, check out my video on YouTube. <laughs> and then I never made the video. I never made it. And I feel so bad about it. And I still haven't made the video, but it's also because like I come home and I'm like dead tired. Like I'm so tired. I'm even tired right now. Hey, Bah! Sorry, it's like already my bedtime. I'm sorry. So, um, I will try to make a video tomorrow maybe. I ha I'm going to say maybe. Try to throw out something because I would still like to do like a giveaway of some sort because I did reach a new subscriber goal, which was cool. I didn't even think I was going to do that because I'm not very active at all at YouTube anymore. But we did reach 11,000 subscribers somehow. I don't know how, and it's still growing. I don't know how, but it is. <laughs> so shout out to everybody, and thank you so much for subscribing and stuff. It really means a lot to me. Um, and then going hand in hand, <clears throat> hand in hand with that, the newsletter, what the heck? The newsletter is, is doing its thing too. We're almost, and I know this, I don't know if this seems like a lot or not like a lot, but, like, to me it's a lot because I'm like, what? Like, I didn't even, I didn't. Um, we were almost at 200 subscribers for the newsletter, too, which is pretty dope. So that's why I felt so bad about not having a newsletter last week. But, um, yeah, so it means, like, that means literally that there's, like, 100 and something people out there that actually like wanted to get a newsletter to their email <laughs> to like learn more about just random stuff about BJDs. And so yeah, my newsletter, if you don't know anything about it, I'll spend the last minute talking about it here. Um, I just basically put out stuff like that I find interesting with the BJD hobby and I make like a quick little like basically like article about it for that week and then you can like see some cool stuff. And then I try to do a artist highlight. So I try to highlight either like an Etsy shop from somebody in the community. Um, if somebody is doing like pre-orders or somebody just like opened up like commissions or something like that. Like I try to highlight somebody um, and, you know, give them some spotlight so people can see them and stuff. So uh, if you are somebody that does content or creates BJD things or anything like that, Please feel free to fill out my form. You can do it on my website here, which is bjdlife.com. In that recent article that's like, beach your new newsletter. Like, there's a section there to fill out if you know somebody or have somebody that you would like to give a shout out to. Um, please go ahead and do that so I can give them a cool little highlight in my newsletter. So, yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. I look forward to the newsletter every week. Oh, yeah. Stephanie, you are more than welcome to add me on Instagrammies. I'm right up there. That is my Instagrammies up there. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We're all there. We're all there. Um, Stephanie says, how do I find out about doll cons and doll meetups? I can't access the page on DOA because I'm newer to the site and the Facebook groups won't let me in. I guess I answered a question wrong. Oh, no. Um, yes, Discord is always good. We do have a BJD Addicts Discord. Um, BJD Addicts is... Um, is the one that I run with some amazing people out there in the web because I can't do it all on my own anymore. It's too big now. Um, but yeah, we have that Facebook group and then Instagram has a lot of groups too. Uh, but yeah, Discord's a good one to check out as well. So yeah. Yeesh. Yeesh. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I need to go to sleep. I'm so tired. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I hope you guys have a dolly-tastic day. Thank you so much for joining me and coming to see me talk about all these really crazy, cool, amazing, interesting dolls. I hope some of them were interesting and cool and amazing to you, too. 
as always, have a Dolly Tested Air. He said that like three times. And I'll talk to you guys in another video soon. Thanks, guys, for coming on in. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm going to go to sleep.